Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. We need to talk about Target. <laughs> So Target reported their revenue or their earnings the other day and their net income, this is basically the profit, the money they get after they pay all the bills, is down more than 90%. Now, I'm not here to tell you that Target is crashing, that they're going bankrupt and all that kind of stuff. Not here to say that. There are some very specific reasons as to why this happened to Target and Target has some optimism about those numbers. So we'll, we'll discuss that as well. But here's the thing. In Q1 of 2022, um, their net income, they brought in about a billion dollars. Q2 of 2022, they brought in less than $150 million. One billion, okay, with a B, $150 million. That was less than that um, for, for Q2 of 2022. That's a big drop off. In fact, I will show you visually here, that is a big drop off in net income. That ain't good. Now, in Target's defense, we'll talk about the positive first. In Target's defense, they say that they did mishandle um, their inventory. We did talk about this when I was trying to get out of Target and actually sold Target. They said that, look, you know, they were really focused on home goods. We talked about that. Uh, furniture, desk, all those types of things. And as inflation got higher and gas prices got higher and food prices got higher, Consumers are like, look, I, I'm not going to buy this desk. I'm not going to buy this shelf. I got other things I got to take care of. I need to buy groceries. Uh, Target grocery sales did do well. I got to buy gas. I have to do all this other stuff. I cannot afford, or nor do I even desire, all the home goods. This is why Target had a whole bunch of sales. If you've been paying attention, especially like TVs and electronics, if you've been paying attention to Target, they've been doing a lot of sales. So if your margins are already small and you have to put things, you have to mark things down, put them on sale, your profits are going to be smaller. It makes sense. And Target says that based on how they're managing their inventory and all that kind of stuff, that they, this is the peak. They've gotten through the worst part of this and that things should improve. So this should be the, the worst dip you'll see in profits. Things should bounce back after that. That's what they say. That's what they expect. We'll see. We'll totally see what that means for them. Now, while that is true, the optimist or the optimistic view of this is I could see if somebody said, look, this is a buy the dip moment. This is a dip in, in profits. It's not going to happen again. They've gone through the worst of this. Inflation is coming down. Um, jobs are still strong. I, I could agree with you. I don't agree with you, but I could. I, I'm like, okay, I get it. Well, I won't be putting my money on it, but I totally could get what you, what you see. I wouldn't necessarily fight you on that. Um, but the other part of this is why was Target in this position to begin with? Because it's not like Target is the only retailer out there, the only mega retailer out there. Walmart has been relatively fine because over the last three months, Target is down 20%. Over the same three months, Walmart is only down 5.6%. What is going on here? Why is Walmart much better at this than you? Your target. It's not like you're, you know, uh, a Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree is much smaller. They have less complicated business. But Dollar Tree is up, what is it, 4.6% or something like that? Uh, yeah, 4.2% from the time that I'm, I'm recording this video. Dollar Tree is up over the same time frame. Now, personally, I'm up about 7%. Y'all know I own Dollar Tree. I actually switched out of Target to Dollar Tree. And you're kind of finding out why now. Um, but in either case, that is that is even an even bigger red flag. No company is going to be perfect. Every company every now and then is going to mishandle something, do something incorrectly, and, and stumble because of it. However, if I'm looking at the, the closest competitor in Walmart, if if I'm only down, if I'm Walmart only down six compared to 20, you're not in the ballpark anymore. You're not in the ballpark anymore. And for the same supply chain issues that everybody has deal with, dealt with, with the same uh, you know inflationary costs that everybody has dealt with, why are you suffering from this more when you're not like a smaller fledgling company trying to catch up? That should that's some, something wrong. It says a, a lack in leadership and accounting. Some, some, something needs to move for you to get back on track. However, when I compare this to the broader context, Again, another concerning flag is when it comes to these partnerships and being more innovative and trying to compete with an Amazon. Now, not every single company in the world needs to, needs to be forced into competing with Amazon, but Walmart is about that business and they're about that life. And we talked about the other day how Walmart was seeking some streaming partners. 
fine, okay? When it was uh, actually updated, then Walmart is going to decide to partner with Paramount Plus. Now, I'm not a big fan of Paramount Plus, can't name a single show, Paramount Plus. Um, that's aside from the fact, but Walmart's trying to be more innovative, it's trying to get these partnerships and get people on their Walmart Plus program. I cannot tell you what Target is doing to one, get a streaming partner, even though it's not required, it's not required, they're not seeming to, to do that, at least as of yet, and what are they doing in the membership space? I, immediately, I have not seen any commercials about a partnership program. I haven't gotten any notifications about a real partnership program. I have the Target app. Um, what are you doing here? Because if I'm looking to offset some of these, these ups and downs, wouldn't it make sense to have a membership program? Whether it's $10, $15, $20 because you're fancy in your Target, what are you doing in that space? Now, I know that they have some service where you can get same-day shipping, but is that it? Like, is, is that is that the same thing? What are the other benefits? Like, you have to offset this because you could have said, hey, look, home goods, people buying nice, fancy stuff for the home, it's not selling off the shelves like it used to. However, whether they're buying it or not, I'm still pulling in $20 a month from a, hundred, you know, a million customers or, or whatever that thing is. And that can kind of offset some of these ups and downs as the economy does whatever it does, recession or not, deep recession or not, unemployment or not or whatever that thing is going to be you can become a lot more stable i don't see them doing that and that is the, that's the concern for me so for you as an investor this is not a you need to sell target you need to buy target you can make that decision for yourself i already made mine y'all saw me make mine i sold it okay um but this is a uh, a discussion about understanding the businesses that you own and understanding that every business is different. There's a reason why Costco is fine and BJ is fine and Walmart is, is, is okay to find. Dollar General, um, Dollar Tree, all are fine. Target's not. Target is, is suffering. they down bad right now. And there's a reason for that. So when you are looking at stocks, it's not just, you know, oh, I like the company or I, I like to shop here. I always, I've said this for, for years now. Just because you shop, it doesn't make it a great stock. And this is one of the things that I, I, I try and warn people about. It's like, hey, look, you know, I know it's, it's fun to get into it. Like, oh, I own a Microsoft tablet. I own an iPhone. I own these things. So let me go and buy those stocks. It's fun. It gets you into it, but it doesn't always make you money. And this is one of those examples where I like to shop at Target. I like to ordering things. I like their app. I like all that stuff. But it's not making me any money. I don't shop at a Dollar Tree. I can't tell you what the newest Dollar Tree is. Also, because I'm new to this area. I've been to one before. <laughs> but I don't, that's not a place I shop anymore. I just, I don't know. I don't know where one, like, I don't know. Nor do I care. I researched the business. I said, okay, that's something I want to have my money in. That's why I think my money is going to grow. And it has compared to what Target is doing right now. So always, always, always remember the business is different. You want to look into the business. Don't just do it because you like the brand and it looks shiny and you shop there and you're familiar with it. Go into detail and see what's going on with the company. And we've talked about some of these things about Target before. Now, when I invested in it last year, um, I guess it was June of last year, whenever I decided to get into it, we didn't have these issues. We didn't have this this information, which is why I update um, how I feel and what I need to read and, and make these decisions every six months. Because six months ago in December, before we knew inflation was going to be this high and gas prices were going to go up and inventory was going to be crazy and supply chain, and I keep going on and on and on here. We didn't know that. Now we do and decide to make a decision and get out. That's just me. But when you are looking into these companies, when you're looking into these stocks, make sure that you understand what is un what is the underlying thing behind it. And just like I've said, when you are researching companies again, also look at the competition. How does it compare to everybody else in that space? So I'm never just looking at Walmart by itself. I'm never just looking at Costco by itself. If I'm looking at Costco, I'm looking at Walmart. I'm also looking at BJ's and maybe a Target and just compare across the board. Really more Walmart and BJ's and seeing how these two things or how these three things compare which one of the three do I like? Is, are, are all three of these doing well or not? When I did my breakdown on waste management, there are two other companies that do the exact same thing, but smaller, and all their performance numbers are the same. The entire industry is moving in the same direction. That's not the same thing in retail. So just want to throw that out there and kind of have that discussion. I would love to hear what your thoughts are about, um, about Target and how you, is this something you still invest in? Is this a buy the dip moment for you? Or is this a, hey, he told us, let me leave it alone? Uh, or are you looking for, for something else? So I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts there. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Also, talking about breakdowns, we did an entire breakdown the other day 
for waste management. And not only did I find two competitors I had never heard of that are also doing well, waste management got some stuff going on, which is really interesting. Um, I didn't, I knew that it was probably a good company, but as we dug into it, it is a really good quality company. I even gave out a, a target price. So if you're looking to get into it, there is a, a price point that I would love to buy it. Went through the charts and showed everyone where that is. So that is in the members only. Make sure that you click the button down here or you can hit the join down tab. Um, it's, it's only $10 a month. We do fresh new videos and deep dives every single week. So make sure you check that out. We also did one on Amazon and really by request. You say what you want, I take some time, put up the video and it goes directly to our members only. All right, so that is it for me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.